Rubin. Hi, Mayor. Uh, last week, you expressed uh, reservations about pretrial release when asked about the Safety Act. Um, to clarify, what specifically are you calling for to change? Should Democrats amend or repeal it? Should voters not retain certain judges? I'm not sure I understand your question because um, I've been talking about the dangers that we're seeing in the Cook County court system regarding pretrial release for a year and a half. It's not new. There are too many violent, dangerous people out on the street, period. And too many of them are getting released when they've got long rap sheets, when they are charged with um, very significant crimes of violence. And what I'm, what I'm frustrated by, and I've expressed this, is that too many judges seem to ignore the requirement that already exists in state law way before the Safety Act, that community safety must be a consideration in their pre-trial release determinations. We're not seeing that, and that's a problem. When we're still seeing in excess of 2,000 people charged with murder, attempted murder, kidnapping, carjacking, um, crimes of violence, using guns, and have um, significant criminal histories, getting out on the street through our electronic monitoring when the county has barely done anything more to, to make sure that there's actual community-based monitoring, that is a danger to us. That is them shirking their responsibility to provide safety to our residents, our neighborhoods in the city and in Cook County. I've been very, very clear about my opposition to what I see happening um, with too many um, Cook County judges who ignore the importance of community safety and making their pretrial release decision. So it's nothing new, not the first time I said it last week. I've been saying it consistently for 18 months that the Cook County judges have to step up and recognize the victims and the witnesses that are out there who live in fear of the people that they are letting back out onto the street with a mere ankle bracelet who are not being monitored in a way that they need to and are continuing to commit crimes in our city. Um, and to follow up, how does that relate to your position on the Safety Act? Should it exist as it is now, or should Democrats look into amending it, given the dynamic you just described? Well, I think that uh, members of the General Assembly, um, particularly um, Senator uh, Sims and Representative Klusauter, have been saying for some time uh, that they are going to be making some changes uh, to the Safety Act. We're in conversations with them about what we think needs to be done, and I expect something to, to get done, if not in a veto session, in the lame duck session, but I'm hoping something gets done relatively soon uh, because there are challenges there. Overall, I think the work of the Illinois um, Black Caucus and the variety of pillars from education and so forth um, was noble work. But there clearly are challenge changes that need to be made um, in the Safety Act. And you've heard from the governor and I think a number of legislators that they are hard at work um, on that. And we're going to join them in that work. A.D. Tripp. Hi, Mayor. 